While computers are very good at working with binary digits, humans are not. That when we have large numbers like the one shown, it's very tedious for humans to work with such a large binary number, and it's error prone. And so instead, what humans typically do is write these large numbers as hexadecimal numbers. And so I'm going to show you how to convert binary numbers into hexadecimal and back. So hexadecimal is base 16 just like binary is base 2 and therefore it uses 16 digits and the 16 digits we're going to use are the first 10 digits are the decimal numbers and so they have the same value in hex as they do in decimal so 0 through 9 have the values 0 through 9 in decimal and the remaining six digits are the first six digits of the alphabet and we just give them values continuing on where we left off with nine so a is ten all the way to f which is fifteen so when we write a binary number in hexadecimal what we're gonna do is we're gonna break it up into groups of four binary digits and the reason why is two to the fourth power is sixteen and that means with each four binary digits we can encode that with a single hexadecimal digit so the pattern one one zero one we looked that up one one zero one is the value d uh, all ones i know to be f the value one is one in hexadecimal one zero one 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 zero one one is b Z one one zero is the value six one 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 zero that's one less than f so i know that has to be e one zero one zero that's binary for ten and ten is one after nine so that has to be a and one zero zero one is nine so here is the hexadecimal encoding of this thirty two bit binary number when we write that in um, computer code um, we typically prefix um, a hexadecimal number in C or Java or similar languages with the pattern 0x and this allows us to know that what's follow is a base 16 number because we could write something that would be a valid decimal number 77 is a valid decimal number but by prefixing it with the 0x we know that this is not equal to the decimal 77 instead hex 77 is equal to 7 times 16 plus 7 because each um, the 16th place each of these is worth 16 um, in Verilog we're going to instead prefix it with an H to say this is hexadecimal notation again we're going to specify the size of the signal that we're giving so this is a 32-bit signal um, or 32-bit constant and then we're encoding it in hexadecimal so this this representation is used a lot um, to specify things like IP addresses or 24-bit colors so things that are large binary numbers so to be more precise when we're converting from hexadecimal to binary it's really easy we're gonna look at each digit and generate the binary bit pattern associated with it so for this 261.35 number we're just gonna get the binary representation of 2, 6, and 1 put that before the decimal point and then the binary representations for hexadecimal 3 and 5 and put those after converting from binary to hex is a little more complicated again we're gonna start with the decimal point and we're gonna work outwards from the decimal point so from this decimal point we're gonna cut up the number into groups of four digits and encode those each so here's the binary for four so we get the value four here is the binary for eleven and so we get b and likewise in the other direction we're gonna cut it up in groups of four and whenever we don't have a full group of four we're either gonna postfix if it's on the right side of the decimal point or prefix with extra zeros so this one ones can become one one zero zero which is also known as hex c